today we will learn 11th standard history unit 6 polity and society in post mauryan period in the lesson la irukka kudiya detail question ka na answer la na paakalam inge parunga answer the following in detail first one parunga the rise of indo greek kings in western india strengthened trade and cultural contacts explain kittirukanga idu answer book page number 77 and 78 la irukka paakalam இங்க இருக்கு பாருங்க புக் பேஜ் நம்பர் 77ல இந்தோ கிரீக் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் னு டாபிக் இருக்குல அது கீழ தி பிகினிங்ஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது கீழ ஃபோர் லைன்ஸ் இருக்கு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரைட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் இந்தியஸ் இன்டராக்ஷன் வித் தி கிரீக்ஸ் began with the invasion of north western india by alexander and his conquest of the punjab region the four lines ரைட் பண்ணிக்கங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் இதோட கண்டினியூவா நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ்ல பாத்தீங்க அப்படினா செகண்ட் பேராகிராஃப் sorry थर्ड பேராகிராஃப்ல இந்த இதுல இருந்து இங்க இருக்கும் fourth line la paarenga facilitated regular trade from india to the west as far as egypt trade was carried on by the overland route via north west afghanistan and also partly by the coastal route along the persian gulf and red sea a variety of luxury goods including ivory tortoise shell pearls indigo and other dyes aromatic substance like spikenard or nard and malabathrum and rare goods were exported from india next idu continue va keela irukku parunga points points ah write panninga ungalku easy ah irukum the cultural influence of the greeks is evident from the capitals of monuments at padaliputra many historians argue that the elaborate administrative institution of the mauryan empire drew inspiration from the administrative system of the persians and greeks the eventual rise of indo greek kingdoms in west india strengthen these cross cultural influences and gave rise to distinct school of art idu varla write pannikalam fourth roman la first one answer okay next second one paarenga discuss the contribution of kanishka to art and literature idu answer book page number 80 and 82 la irukku paakalam inge paarenga kanishka topic irukku book page number 80 la kanishka adu keela irukka and two lines mattum write panninga The best known of the Kusana kings was Kanishka. The best known of the Kusana kings was Kanishka. And the line write panite page number eighty two, eighty two. Eight the thing. Ah, this is a paranga. This is a points points. Ah, write paniga over pointa. Mahayana Buddhism which allowed the representation of the person of Buddha in human form. Next point. The Greek influence led to an Indo-Greek style of sculpture and art commonly referred as Kandar art. Next is statues of Buddha sculpted particularly in Taksila and the north western regions show him in graceful garments surrounded by seraphs and leaves inspired by the Greek tradition by mention must also be made of the red sandstone sculpture with the intricate carving produced near Madura. Next the Buddhist began to carve out rock caves in the hills of western india which served as religious centers with saithyas and vigaras stretching from the ajanta caves to the hanheri hanheri caves in mumbai okay va next large statues of buddha were sculptured in these caves as a part of the mahayana tradition and in later centuries they were further embellished with murals of extraordinary beauty as seen in the ajanta caves next kanishka was the patron of buddhist philosophers such as asvagosa ashwa and vashumitra as well as the great buddhist teacher nagarjuna asvagosa is known for the buddha sharida and is celebrated as the author of the first sanskrit play sari putra praharana in nine acts the great dramatist bhasha whole place sorry whose place were rediscovered only about a yeah, 100 years 100 years next idoda continue inge irukku 100 years ago in south india most probably belong to this period among the hindu treatises we treatises we find the anuspriti vatsyayanas kama sutra and kautiyas artha shastra kautiyas artha shastra taking final shape by the second century ce okay va idu varla write pannikala second question answer illa inga short form la kuduthirukkena over points points ah inga irukku paarenga idu eludhikinga idu ungalku easy ah irukum adaiyum oru daw refer pannikinga okay va adula irukka answer da inga points point ah short form la kuduthirukom paathukenga how many points irukuna idla paathinga appadina 
எயிட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இருக்கு இதை கூட நீங்க ரைட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் பாருங்க தேர்ட் கொஸ்டின் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஹவு ரோம் எமர்ஜ் டஸ் த சூப்பர் பவர் ஆஃப் த மெடிடேரியன் வேர்ல்டுன்னு இருக்கு இதோட ஆன்சர் புக் பேஜ் நம்பர் எயிட்டி த்ரீல இருக்கு பாக்கலாம் இங்க இருக்கு பாருங்க பை த எண்ட் ஆஃப் த லாஸ்ட் சென்ச்சுரி பிசி ரோம் Emerged as the super power of the Mediterranean world, displacing the Greek kingdoms and the Republic became an empire in 27 BCE under Emperor Augustia. Augustus, Rome was the largest and probably the wealthiest city in the world, commanding huge resources realized through conquest in Europe and North Africa. The wealth of Rome greatly increased the demand for various products from India, especially the spices and textiles of the Tamil country, resulting in a Great expansion of trade. Let's continue. Let's see. Further, this, this also means that the overland route could be circumvented completely. Since traders on that route were also vulnerable to attacks by Parthians in Iran. The ultimate result of the combination of the growing demand from Rome and the opening of the direct sea route to western India was an increase in the number of ships. sailing to india from about 20 ships a year to almost one ship a day okay va idu varla write pannikalam third question oda answer next paarenga fourth one give given an account of the tamil kingdoms of first century ce endru irukku idu answer book page number 82 la irukku paakalam inge paarenga book page number 82 la tamil kingdoms nu irukku adu keela irukku appadi write pannikalam southern india remained immune to the political changes taking place in the northern part of the country Around the first century CE, the Sadavahana kingdom was established in the Deccan area comprising the modern states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. This, however, was not like the centralized empire of the Mauryas and the provincial governors of the Sadavahanas who had a considerable degree of autonomy. Next, the political landscape of the Tamil Nadu region was fragmented into small kingdoms in contrast to the north where extensive empires flourished. The Tamil region was ruled by Muvendar, the three kings, the Pandyas from the, their capital Madurai, the Cholars from their capital Urayur and the Cheras from Banji. We know that these kings were known to the Mauryas even in the 3rd century BC and Asoga second rock edict mentions them as kingdoms bordering his empire. However, there were many warlords and chiefs who were ruling over smaller kingdoms. principalities in the region in the bracket like write panning often referred as velir okay va fourth roman la fourth one answer indha video ungalku useful ah irundhuchuna nama channel subscribe pannunga like pannunga share pannunga thank you to all